Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Sam Crack, and today's car of the day is downright scary when you take a look at the auction photos. This 2015 Cadillac Escalade was definitely involved in a severe accident, and I can only hope that the people that were inside the car during this accident are okay. But this is one of those cars that somebody took and tried to make it look a little bit better and put it on resale, but the job that they did doesn't look much better than the original photos and kind of makes me wonder why this was done, but after doing a little bit of research, the picture's a little more clear. Let me stop trying to explain it to you guys. Let me hop on the computer and show you exactly what I'm talking about. We have to assume that the person that's buying this car knows what they're getting themselves into with this Certificate of Destruction title, which basically makes this Escalade only good for parts. And on top of that, I'd have to assume that this car would never even be attempted to be rebuilt again because it'd be nearly impossible to get it back on the road. But it's clear someone else had other ideas. Now, besides the Certificate of Destruction title, we can see that the odometer reads zero, which is not actual likely because there's no power to the car after the accident. It says that the primary damage is all over, with secondary damage being biohazard or chemical. Now, if we take these pictures and enlarge them, it's clear that the entire top of the car was smashed and ripped off. This must have been a very, very severe accident. Uh, the car might have rolled over, not 100% positive, but as we keep going on, we can see the wheel and tire just completely ripped off the corner here. All the airbags in the interior look like they've been deployed. This is one of the scarier photos. The interior here, you can see the roof is touching the top of the seat here. This must have been absolutely devastating for who was ever involved in this crash. Again, airbags right here. Look at this photo, the rear seats. The whole entire top of the roof is separated. We'll see shortly in the rebirth photos what that separation looks like now. Here's the front end of the car, which has a lot of usable parts. Why this car is, is good for something, of course. Uh, but otherwise, here's the odometer not turning on. That missing wheel and tire with ripped out suspension components. This is one terrible terrible sight now by the way guys i'm going to use all the links that i show in the video today in the description box below so if you want to follow along be sure to just jump down there and check them out so here is the rebirth of this car the first photo looks substantially better but of course it still holds that certificate of destruction title it now has an odometer reading of 77,000 miles again saying not actual because at one point that the odometer was recorded as not actual so they're just going to keep it consistent with that they're telling us it's a partial repair the secondary damage is all over over. They are telling us now that the car runs and drives, so that definitely will add value to this car as I'm going to show you shortly. But taking a look at these photos of the car in repaired state, uh, it's not repaired enough in my opinion to make it worth that much more. We can still see all the doors are messed up. Uh, they don't even line up straight. The rear end is smashed in. The doors on this side are not only completely destroyed, they don't even close. The windows are all smashed out. However, the roof does look repaired. It looks repaired from a far distance. The roof line isn't shown in this picture like it was in the original. But if we keep going down, the person that took these photos at Copart, kudos to you because you're really showing us exactly what is wrong with this car. You could see that the jaws of life were likely used on this car by the clean cut right here. Now the jaws of life is a tool used by first responders, ambulance, or firemen that actually will cut through the pillars of the car, will cut through the roof of the car so they can peel it back and extract the person if they are stuck in the car after a severe accident like this one. So that damage is still there. They must have just welded in a new half of a roof. Uh, but again, besides the fact that them getting the car to now run and drive I don't know how much value a repair like this would add to a car. Now using one of my new favorite sites, autoauctions.io, we can see exactly what this car sold for and then resold for it. And autoauctions.io, besides just providing you the sale price, really breaks things down in a very clear and concise way. And a lot of you guys ask me a ton of different questions on a car. Uh, like right here, it says that the title type is parts only. Again, remember this is a certificate of destruction title, but there are so many different names for certificate of destruction, parts only, scrap, junk. Auto Auctions just designates it as parts only. They go ahead and give us a lot of the other information. They show us that it doesn't run and drive in this listing, that the engine doesn't start. They show that it has the keys. 
But the other great thing that they'll show us right here is that the seller is in fact an insurance company. They also give us the original auction date. They give us the ability to click through. This will open back up the Copart link. Now the Escalade originally sold for $9,700 as we can see right here. When we scroll down, we can see that that was about four months ago and it says sold this listing. But then a month ago, this car was actually resold for $16,800 on Copart. Now if we click this link, it will take us to the car that we just analyzed on Copart that has been repaired. And when we scroll down, we see it's now being offered by a third party. So either a dealership or somebody else purchased this car, put in a little bit of work to it and resold it. Again, I do think the car is worth slightly more because it does run and drive. However, uh, we can see that they sold this car for a little bit over $7,000 profit. That's before all their fees, of course, the work, labor parts they put into it. So their profit is likely well less than $7,000. But the other really interesting thing is that auto auctions will show us that this car was run through auction several different times. The seller even declined a $22,800 offer, which would have made them a substantially higher profit. But the question still remains, why would they rebuild a car like this? And the only motivation I can find is just an increase in value. There's nothing wrong with that. These cars are being sold at the salvage auto auction and if somebody's willing to pay more for it then that is totally their choice now this trend is nothing new you've seen videos from me on cars that have been staged or doctored up and one of them most notably was this yukon that was an absolutely deplorable condition and somebody actually took this and rebuilt it into this right here. Now, if you wanna check out the video I did with this car, went into a lot of detail, you can just click right above, and again, I'll list it in the description box below. But we could see originally, in this condition, this car sold for $7,800, and in this listing, it was for sale by a third party. This car then went, and the final bid was $20,900. In this case, there's a lot of new parts, like headlights that are very expensive, these wheels and tires that might actually make this car worth more than $10,000 over than it initially sold for. And this car having a salvage title might be put back on the road one day. There was a lot of questions specifically about this car, whether it actually was rebuilt or maybe somebody just used the VIN number off of this car. Honestly, I tend to believe somebody did repair this car. Just one side note I'll show you here. If we enlarge this picture, we can see on the passenger side quarter panel where this was smashed in. When we go to the resale listing, while it's difficult to tell, something definitely looks out of shape on this quarter panel. A kind of doctored up fix was applied, maybe not so much a permanent fix, to this specific car. But the really surprising listing is another car that I featured on Car Day, and that's this 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser that at first glance looks absolutely perfect. And again, if you want more detail on this one, just check out the link above here. Uh, this car only has 212 miles on it, as we can see from the odometer, and also in the listing, but it has a salvage title. If you remember correctly, this car was a total mess in its original listing, which is right here, where it only sold for $26,750. Going back to the fixed up listing, $44,000, an over $17,000 profit. It's become quite a bit more obvious why some of these more desirable cars like full-size SUVs are being fixed up and then being resold through the auction. Right now I wanna hear what you guys think. Take to the comment section below and let me know, do you think that this is a worthy business? Do you think that this is a good idea to take a car that's been severely damaged and rebuild it to a certain point where it's still really not road worthy, but on the other hand, it's worth substantially more to another auction goer. To me, it just doesn't seem like a sustainable business model. For every single one of these cars that I've seen sell for a $10,000 plus profit on autoauction.io, there's some of them that only sell for a couple thousand dollar profit, and of course, there's some that even sell for a loss. And especially on these cars with junk or destruction tiles, it definitely doesn't seem worth it. And with parts prices so high, it makes so much sense to me to actually part them out. I can guarantee you that one of those headlights on the Escalade costs well in excess of over a thousand dollars. Then there's modules and all sorts of things. That's why a lot of the sales of damaged cars through salvage auctions are to parts recycling facilities. They can break the car down part by part and recoup several times the value of the car 
in just the parts. The only downside to that, to someone looking to make a quick buck, is that you might be sitting on a part for several months to even over a year before somebody comes in to buy it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and maybe learned something from it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. I wanna thank Rich Z for sending me in the links to that Escalade because I did find it really interesting. Now, if you see something out there interesting, whether it be on Copart, maybe it's on eBay or Craigslist or somewhere out there on the internet, be sure to email me, samcrackauto at gmail.com. You can put C-O-T-D in the subject line. Thanks a whole lot for watching this and I will catch you very soon.